As of 2 o'clock this afternoon, 900 roads remain closed in the state, including parts of Interstate 40 and 95 in Cumberland County. As CBS 17's Robert Richardson reports, this is impacting more than traffic. I-95 South stops at the interchange with I-40, just north of Benson. Some drivers disregarded cones and kept going until they ran into road crews who forced them to exit. Local leaders suspect it's out of the area traffic having the most trouble. We have Highway 50, Highway 242, Highway 27. A lot of people are using the state roads, uh, especially those local people that are aware of those roads existing. Getting to some of those detours have detours of their own. People traveling on I-95 South who exit I-40 West to try to get to 301. Well, this exit's closed, but they have to go down even further to loop back. Though cars and even dump trucks ignored the closure, the Department of Transportation is warning out-of-state drivers to detour all the way around the state if possible. Cutting them off at the state line, as the governor had directed, is causing the travelers that normally come through on I-95, there's less of those. That means a decrease of customers at some short stop shops at exits like fast food and gas. But the Chambers of Commerce in Benson and Dunn say other businesses aren't seeing a major impact from the closures. However, Benson's Mule Days, set for Thursday through Sunday, will be postponed for the first time in its 69 years. A lot of our attendees are from South Carolina, Eastern North Carolina, and we just felt that it wouldn't be fair to them if they wouldn't give them a chance to be able to make it a month later. Maybe by that time they'll be ready to come out and have some fun. The town's biggest event of the year will now be October 25th through 28th. Robert Richardson, CBS 17 News.